How's it going, everyone, and welcome to another episode of our MLB The Show 24 Road to the Show series with our right fielder, Everett Scott. In the previous episode, I believe we went through this three-game series against the Pirates, and then this four-game set against the Brewers, and then this three-game set against the Cardinals. And that is correct because the Cardinals broke our winning streak of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 games so that was unfortunate but as you can see in between that video and this one which was which will be a day about we swept the mariners there in that three game series one two to one over the ray uh yeah rays i was gonna say lightning there for a second we swept the or no we didn't we won two to one against the orioles and then arizona we had a three game sweep over them we beat the angels two to one swept the guardians Lost to the Cubs 2-1. to one. We swept the Braves in a four-game set. And here we are in the final four series of this season. We all do a three-game set on the road against the Marlins. Come home for the final six games where we play the Colorado Rockies. Get a day off. And then play the Padres. And then we go on the road to finish off the season against the Colorado Rockies. But I think what we'll probably do, um, since we play the Rockies twice, what we'll do is we'll play this series against the Marlins, we'll sim this series against the Rockies, and then we'll play the Padres and the Rockies as well. I just, I don't want to have the Rockies featured twice in this episode. Like, if it was separated more, then maybe I'd think about it. Like, if we simulated a couple weeks... Um, then maybe, but I just want it to kind of be a different set of teams, if that makes sense. So it'll be the Marlins, the Padres, and the Rockies on the road to finish it off. But before we jump into that series against the Marlins, we will look at the standings here. As you can see, we have clinched the division and the best record in the league. So we will have home field advantage throughout the entirety of of the playoffs depending on how far we get i do believe that they changed it so that way um in the world series the home field is determined by the best record and it is no longer um who wins the all-star game which division or which league wins the all-star game anymore so we should have home field advantage the entire playoff run which hopefully will be the whole thing but we will have to finish this episode first so without further ado guys we are going to jump into this game against the marlins all right so first at bat here in game one of the series looks like we have one on and one out all right that'll be a little blooper and it will result in a double play i should just never use contact swing because it's only paid off for me i think once So out in right field here, they got a runner on first with no outs. You got Shohei on the bump here in game one. See what Josh Bell can do for us. The Marlins, I believe, would be out of playoff contention. They were like 64 and 86 or something like that. It's going to drop. But he will stay at second. Good call there, guy. But they got two on with no outs. Alright, so they did not score, and we're leading off the top of the fourth here. Alright, so an 11 pitch at bat there leads to a walk for us. And you love to see it. But now we got Showtime up to bat. He's 0 for 1. Doesn't say what happened in the first, just says in first. Going for the steal. That was a bad jump. Shohei strikes out, but we advance to second on the steal there. So his fourth strikeout for the pitcher. I wish he'd tell me how many stolen bases I have. But we got Mookie Betts. He doesn't have to worry about the double play. At least not a ground out double play. 
I ain't stealing third. It'd be easier with Mookie Betts there since he's in the way of the catcher. Oh. I can't tag up on that. Oh, I would have been safe. More than likely, anyway. But not going to risk it. So we got James Outman. Has my position in center field. I had to switch to right field to get onto this team quicker. But I think it's paid off for us here. And he strikes out swinging. I don't know why my guy jumped back to second like that. He didn't need to do that. Chance of injuring himself. All right, so back up to bat here. Runner on first with no outs. Throw for one with a walk and a stolen base. And I strike out on a three pitch at bat. I was just swinging at everything there. All right, so we broke up uh, Perez's good pitching day there. We got three on the board, and now Trevor Rogers is in with two on, no out. And that's a little pop fly. Hopefully it drops foul, and it does. Okay, good. Let's try it again. All right, so a nine pitch at bat there, and we draw the walk again here. So bases are juiced for Shohei, and he's got a huge count in his favor here. Maybe we can walk in a run. And that is indeed what we will do. So we take a 4 nothing lead off of that. Freddie Freeman gets the easiest run in his life. One of the easiest. Then Mookie Betts, 2 for 3 with 2 singles, a ribby, and a run. See if he can go 3 for 4 here, drive in a couple more, if not all of us. That would be ideal. They got a new pitcher in, Devin Smeltzer. What a line drive, and it's a double play getting Shohei on the way back. You hate to see it. Not your fault, Shohei. That was a missile to Bell there. All right, James Outman. I bet you guys are regretting keeping him as your center fielder. Maybe not. We're doing pretty well. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to. I'm not sure why they're showing us this entire at bat. They're showing it like there's a steal scenario happening, but there isn't. And try to get yourself comfortable. Are they going to walk him? He's up 3 nothing. Chris Taylor, up next for the Dodgers. Yeah, and they walk James Outman for some reason. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch... So now Chris Taylor, 0 for 2 with the walk in the 6th. Bases juice, 2 outs. We'll see how it pays off here. See if this time a hit can drive us in. Mookie Betts just unfortunately got unlucky. There's a rocket into center. That'll get two more in. So a 6-0 lead now in the top of the seventh. They should have pitched to Outman. But I guess t uh, Chris Taylor was hitless as well in this one. And I believe that was Gavin Lux. Or, is that was that who it was? Gavin Lux, who was ahead of me on third? Not quite sure. But Nick Gordon up to bat here in the bottom of the seventh. Runners on the corners with only one out. Trying to claw their way back into this one. They already got a run on the board. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Oh, I should get that, right should get that. Can't get their oh, apparently I dropped it. The throw in. And he's but we still got him at fur or at home, excuse me. I think regardless, he would have tagged up. So we got him regardless. Alright, top of the eighth, field. runner in Everett scoring position, shot. two outs. Still hitless in this one, technically. I tried to hold up my swing there, and I strike out again. I believe that's my third strikeout. 
So, I mean, we're being productive in this game, just not with the hits, but with our patience. But we've also struck out three times. But we come away with the victory by the sound of the crowd. 7-1 to one victory here. Shohei gets another win. So let's move on to game two. All right, starting off game two here. See what the situation is for us coming to the plate. Runner in scoring position with only one out. And we hit a very inside, high and inside four-seamer. That's a pop-up. So we're struggling to get some hits here, but we at least got a couple walks in game one. So back up to bat, top of the third. Nobody on, two outs. Still a scoreless game. And that one's down the line. I didn't know if that'd be fair or not. But we will get a double. So we will get a hit finally. Only took a game and three innings. Can't even see my guy. That ref's taking the spotlight. Freaking son of a gun. I don't know. That kind of looked like it landed foul. I don't know about that one, Chief. That one looked foul to me. But I guess I guess it's considered in play if it touches the line. I'm not I'm not sure how foul how foul calls on that situation work. So Shohei takes a walk though with two outs. Max Muncy. Here's Max Muncy. That funky Muncy. There he is. That funky Muncy. I was waiting for him to say that. Not sure if you guys can hear that. Righty delivers. And strikes him out. So we get stranded on second and first. So in the right field now, still scoreless. Walker Bueller pitching pretty well. Hasn't reached 30 pitches yet in the bottom of the third. Already with one out. Usually my... Uh, my go-to is to stay within, like if you're in the third inning, to stay within that 30 pitch count. So if That's you're in right. the 50s or whatever for pitches, I hate that. I never know how to read that. So like if you're in 52 pitches and you're only in the third inning, I think that's terrible. You're 20 pitches over your limit. So since he's only on 29 pitches or whatever it is, I think he's doing some pretty solid work. But he just gave up a triple, but only because I was a dunce. So we are still in right field. That's the next batter. Going to try and tag up from third, I bet. We should be able to get him on this double play. A bomb in, out by a mile. We make up for that bad play on the previous one. And we gun him out at home. So we got a boss challenge from Sandy Alcantara. Marlins managed to get a run across the board. We got a runner on first with two outs. What's the challenge here, my guy? Not doing contact swing. I would love the boost of the contact, but always backfires. And the runner on first gets thrown out attempting to steal second. I'm pretty sure the pitch from Alcantara was right down the middle there, but I knew he was going. And usually I hold up on swinging on those situations. So we are immediately back on the bump. They scored another run in the bottom of the fifth. So now we're leading off the sixth. See if we can start things hot, off hot here. There we go. Not a, not a very flashy hit, but a base hit up the middle to start things off. Bad throw in. Probably could have made that a double. Now we got Shohei. He's got a walk in the third, and that's it so far. Going for the steal. He swings. 
That doesn't drop. And it's a double play. All right, top of the eighth now, two for three with a double, a single. We got to run across the board, leading off again here. That's a little blooper past the first baseman. So another single. Back-to-back -back singles for us here in this game. Now we just got to be smart, doing a little dance. I don't know if I'd be dancing when you're down by one late in the game. All right. And now the lefty. Shohei mashes that into right. I'm going three. Am in there. Runners on the corners with no outs. There you go, Shohei. You can do the dance. It's showtime. So now Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. You can tie it up. Even if he gets a double play here, just get the ball and play. There we go. That one's back. That's a three-run bomb. He didn't want to tie it. He wanted to just give us a lead. Didn't want to worry about it. 26 homers for Funky Muncy. Freddie Freeman's freaking stoked, dude. Nice job, my guy. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. So All right, so out in right field here, bottom of the eighth. Cruz. Marlins weren't expecting this. They were in cruise control for a good chunk of this game after they took the lead. We were struggling. But Max Muncy opened the floodgates for us. Now we just got to hope our pitching can hold it down. Solid hit. Don't think I'll get to it. No, I will not. Go up to the cutoff. Can we get him? Can we get him? We got him. Nice. You love to see it. Threw it to the cutoff because I honestly did not know he went around first. So I was just going to throw it to the cutoff guy. Paid off. So yeah, top of the ninth. Runner on second with only one out. See if we can get some insurance runs here. And that's just a pop-up. Caught at the warning track, but it will tag him up from second to third. Didn't drive in that run, though. But we do manage to hold on. Nice little nice little comeback win there, winning 4-2. to two. We take a 2 nothing lead over the series. We will come out of it with the victory. But let's hope we can sweep it. All right, so start of the third and final game of this series. Taking on Jesus Luzardo. Little blooper, low cutter there. Will result in a ground out, unfortunately. So we're in right field now, bottom of the second. They got nobody on and one out. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Feel like I need to move to the right a little bit. See if it pays off for us. Good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. I'd say it didn't really make a difference. As we almost failed to make that easy catch. It's back up to bat, losing 2-0 in the top of the fourth. Leading off here. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. And that's a line drive right to the first baseman. Not much we can do on that one. Just unlucky. So back up to bat, bases are juiced. And we are only down by one. There we go. First pitch I look at, hit it into the gap. That's going to clear the bases. I'm going three. I'm going three. I'm risking it. And I get a base clearing triple to give us the 4-2 lead. Do a little dance. Only my second triple. I'd say that's the end for Jesus. He was at 86 pitches there. 
Just a nice gapper there to clear the bases. And no, Jesus is still in the game with 87. Shohei, two for two. He was the only only scorer on the board for us up till that point. See if he can get in another run. It's a little grounder that will score me. And Shohei beats it out at first. It looked like the shortstop just intentionally like held up his throw there. I don't know if you guys saw that as well. Like, let's look. It looked like he kind of stutter stepped. I mean, maybe he didn't stutter step, but I feel like maybe they would have had a better chance of that out if the third baseman would have went for it. But bottom of the fifth, we are up by seven, or excuse me, we are up by six runs. Keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine. And Garcia's leading things off here. Let's see what he brings to the plate. And I just noticed that uh, Bobby Miller is pitching pretty well. He, that was only his 43rd pitch, and we're in the bottom of the fifth. So he's getting them, he's getting them out quick. So the next at bat, Victor Mesa Jr. Left hand batter waits. He hits that. And did a little gap. I take a stutter step myself. And I can't get him. Oh, I did get him. I can never tell from this angle half the time if I got him or not. So we're back up to bat. Eight to two is still the score. One for three with a triple, three ribbies, and a run. And that one's a solid crack in the left. I don't know if it has the distance, and it does. 10-2 game. That's our 56th homer on the season. So unless we go on an absolute tear and start hitting home runs, Every single at bat. I do not think we are going to pose a threat to Barry Bonds' home run record. But hopefully next season. I'd say 50, getting anywhere close to where we're at in your rookie season, being called up at the All Star break, is definitely impressive. 400 on the dot. You'll love to see it. So we're back up to bat here, 11 to 3 now. We've both added a run to our totals. We got two on with no outs. And I strike out on a three pitch at bat. Just got a little too antsy off after that home run. Just trying to swing for the fences. So first and second with two outs. And up next for Los Angeles, Everett Scott. All right, so top of the ninth, two on, two outs. Two for five. I think we're going to go for that plate vision. There we go. Well, base hit into. Oh! I was going to stop it first. So we get a double. Just, I thought that was going to be a nice little single into left field. But turned into a double. I'm not sure if they'll count that as a double or a single or not. Not sure how they determine a play like that. And Shohei hits one into right field. That'll bring in another one. 14, or 15-3, excuse me. Good job, Shohei. And I would think that would do it. And indeed it does. So we will sweep the Marlins in our final meeting with them in the season. And now let's go back to the clubhouse and see how we do with our home series against the Rockies. All right, guys. So we are back at the calendar here. We just swept the Marlins. Heading back to L.A. for a three-game set against the Rockies. They are 55-98. and We're hoping to be 118-38 and after this series. So game one. We win 10 nothing, looking to give the Rockies their 100th loss on the season. Game two, we win 7-4. to four. 
Game three, get the sweep. Yes, we do. We win four to two, and we sweep the Rockies. So we have now won one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten games once again here. Now we take a day off. Let's see what we got here. Plate vision, contact. Uh, you know what? Let's up that contact. Always good to bump that up. So we have matched the amount of games won from the previous episode. The Cardinals took away our 11th game victory. But we're taking on the San Diego Padres, who are surprisingly really bad. 62-94. and 94. They're not worse than the Rockies, though, so I guess that's a positive. Yeah, Colorado's having a brutal season from the looks of it, just going by the numbers here. Looks like they're even better than, or even worse than Oakland, which is surprising. But anyway, let's get into game one against the San Diego Padres and see if we can win 11 straight games. All right, bottom of the first, we are the first batter in today's game. We move around the lineup quite a bit, I've noticed. Nice solid hit into center, but it looks like that will just be a little short. Back up to bat here, bottom of the third, still scoreless. Leading off once again. And I strike out. So we're not off to a hot start here. So we're back up to bat. Bottom of the fifth. Padres 4-0 lead here. Looking to end our winning streak just like the Cardinals did. There we go. Got another homer. Right in the little bullpen area, I believe, is what that is. I don't know Dodger Stadium. Is it Dodger Stadium or Dodger Field? I don't know. I don't know what that was. Oh, that's blinding. Look away if you got seizure. If you get seizures. So, yeah, obviously in those three games against the Rockies, we managed to get uh, one home run, which is surprising. Because we finished with 56 in that Marlins series. We just got our 58. So, if we could at least hit 60 homers by the end of the season. I'd say that's great. So, two down, Ethan so in right field now, top of the six. They got two outs with one on. Kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. We're still trailing by three. My team could not keep the momentum going after my solo bomb. Speaking of bombs, we rob it. Close one there. We keep it a three-run game. Beautiful. Gonsolin loved that. So coming up to bat here, we crawled our way back, leading off the bottom of the seventh. They're not leading off the seventh. I don't know why I said that. I just saw no outs and assumed. There's a runner on first. That pitch gets away from him, but he will stay on first. And unfortunately, that's going to be a double play. I thought maybe I might have beat that out at first, but unfortunately we did not. But we ended up taking the lead, thankfully. Top of the eighth, no one on, one out. The potential 11-game winning streak is still alive. That one out to right. That one's going to drop. And that's a fair ball. Throw it over to the second baseman. Or probably the shortstop. And we do. We crawl our way back in this game and win our 11th straight. Let's make it 12. Game two, starting off in right field. Xander Bogarts. Nobody on, one out for him. We got Kershaw on the bump. 
it's both righties he's only lefties. pitched two pitches but somehow Xander Bogarts is in a three one two count so he's received three pitches and there's already been one out so the math is not mathing Kershaw fires right side Little blooper we can't get, get it I thought about diving but I didn't want to risk it ump almost got drilled by that ball there risky time to start running across the field so they did not score from that taking on you Darvish former cubby nice line drive I was gonna say nice hit into the gap in the left center but that shortstop decided to take the words out from me but I had to give him some credit I assume those line drive catches aren't always the easiest But the Padres got a runner on second with only one out. So if it's a grounder, that runner on second is going to go for home. I guarantee it. Oh. Oh. They, they changed the timing on that. So I do drop it. He's still going home. Bad play, my guy. Bad play. So we didn't make the we didn't make the diving catch, but we still got an out out of the situation. So back up to bat. Bottom of the third. One out. Nobody on. Still scoreless. Little blooper to short. Just a grounder. That's out number two. But we're back with bat. One nothing lead here. Darvish, 61 pitches, a little over the safe zone. But not too bad yet. Going for the homer. And I get drilled by you, Darvish. So now we got Gavin Lux batting behind me with two outs. He's one for one. Make it two for two, buddy. Little blooper, that's going to bounce off the bound. Did I say bound? I meant to say mound if I said bound. I thought about going three, but that would have been dumb more than likely. Freddie Freeman, hitless so far in this one. Darvish still in the game here. Freeman hits that to the third baseman. I'm just going to keep going. And they get the out at first. Out and right now. Profar leading off the top of the seventh. Still got Kershaw on the bump. He's pitching better than Darvish, according to pitch count anyway. Little grounder. Good thing you didn't listen to whoever said 2-2-2. Two, two, two. All right, so next batter, I believe. Matthew Batten digs in now. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an Or maybe the second play. batter after the last guy. Since there's one out. Little blooper. And I catch it. Just throw it to the second baseman, or shortstop, I guess. Because I guess Mookie Betts is second baseman. Alright, so bottom of the seventh, leading off. One for one, or one and one is the score. I'm all over the place today, ladies and gentlemen, but what else is new? Darvish is out. Nice solid hit into center. That's out. So we take a 2-1 lead here in the top of the seventh. Good way to start off the inning. Now let's hope that the guys behind me can keep it going. Just need one more homer for 60. And we've got uh, four more games left to do it. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so... 
So the batting order turns All right, over. so back up to bat here, bottom of the eighth. We have not managed to add more runs after my solo bomb. We got two on with one out. We're going to go for driving all runners. And we hit a can of corn. Nobody's going to move on that one other than back to their base. drop and drive on that swing backside collapsing just a little bit trying to put the ball in the air and judging by the sound of that crowd we win another game our 12th game in a row let's go sweep the Padres and get our 13th victory game three of the series we're starting out in right field we got Dustin May on the bump in this one looking for our 13th victory in a row as a team Bad reaction there on my part, but it should not affect it. We get the out. But the Padres, they get two runs on the board. We're facing Michael King from a Gold Glove series, apparently. I'm just, just kidding. I know that's not the same Michael King. He dives, can't get it. Not a pretty hit, but we'll take it. We got Freeman over to third, only 90 feet away. And we got Showtime. Going for the steal. Shohei hits a bomb. That's going to get caught. But Freeman should tag in on that. Tag up on that, excuse me. And he does. So we're back to within one here. We got Mookie Betts on the bump now, though. Not on the bump, excuse me. Like I said, I'm all over the place. Mookie Betts hits a blast. And it's out of here. We take a one-run lead here. You'll love to see it. His 43rd of the season. So we didn't have to fight back to take the lead for quite too long, thanks to Mookie Betts. That was just like a liner right to that bullpen there. So bottom of the third now, runner on first with one out. Looking to keep the momentum going after we take the lead. Hit a double or better. Let's do it. And I strike out. I just swung way too late on that one. So top of the fifth, Manny Machado up to the up to the plate here. I keep wanting to say up to the bump. He's got a runner on first with two outs to work with. Dustin May a little bit over 60 pitches. 64th pitch there. Going to throw it to three because he's going. And he is out by a mile. And that'll end the fifth. So bottom of the fifth, two on, two outs for us here. Let's try not to strike out this time. And I draw a walk there. So bases are juiced with two outs for Otani. He's 0 for 1 with a sack fly and an RBI. He's 2 for 7 in the series. Bump up those numbers, Showtime. He hits a little popper. I did not know it was a full count. That's why I ran late. Er, I ran late. That's what I was trying to say. I'm all over the place. English is hard for me as somebody who speaks it fluently and every day. It doesn't get any easier, though. So out in right field, still holding on to our one-run lead thanks to Mookie Betts' blast. We got a new pitcher in now. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that name. I would just uh, prove to uh, embarrass myself. 
not in a big hurry. Oh, he's going to three. What a dumb play. I feel like I feel like they need to tweak that a little bit because in real life, I do not think any third base coach would have told them to keep running. I don't think so. Like even Trey Turner, I think would have stopped at second there. All right, bottom of the seventh, runners in scoring position with two outs. Solid hit into left center, but caught on the warning track. Top of the ninth. We just got to get two more outs, and we sweep the Padres and win our 13th game in a row as a team. Roninworth is 0 for 3, but now he'll probably get a blast. Just feels like that will happen. Right Move to the left. I, I knew I should have dove. I saw the line. They're still chasing it as he rounds second. He's going to get a triple. In with a one out triple as that puts the tying run at third. All right. Well, could get interesting. You're so much more likely to get but we win. win. We sweep the Padres and win our 13th right game in a row. Now we head back to Colorado, or not back, we head to Colorado to face the Rockies once again, the final series on the season where we could finish 15 wins in a row. All right, so we are the first batter in this game, taking on Austin Gomber here to lead things off. And I strike out. Not a good way to start off this game, but there's still plenty more to do. So we're out in right field, bottom of the first. See if Bueller can keep the momentum going here, going into hopefully our 14th straight win. Did I say 15-0? To finish off the season, I think I meant 16 and 0. If I said 15 and 0, that that's a nice deep hit. But we will track it down on the warning track. That elevation isn't going to help him on that one. So top of the second, two on in the corners with two outs. That's just not strike out. We just got to get that runner from third in at least. Driving all runners. We'll go for it. Two on, two outs. Solid on. hit. Will it carry? Well. And it's out of here. It's 60 homers on the season gives us a 3 nothing lead. We got the clutch boost and the equipment the pack. And they take the lead. It's three so we'd have to get 14 really more to break Barry Bonds' record. Don't think that's going to happen in two games unless I go completely off, but we're in the perfect we're in the perfect stadium to do that. If we want to do it, now would be the time. But that's unlikely. I say we finish with 64. 64 home runs. I think we can get three more in this series. I say 62 at the at the least, though. We're in the bottom of the second now. Rogers leading things off for the Rockies. Looking to get some momentum started after giving up that three-run blast. Nice hit from Rogers that will get down. Tell me to throw it a second. That was all circles there. He's safe. Right. Might have had a better chance if I threw it to the cutoff. We're back at the bat. Rocky's got one on the board. Nice hit into the gap. And a hold up at second. We love to see it nice. We definitely turned around the momentum for us after that strikeout to start the game. Hit a blast. Now we hit a gapper to give us a double. So Mookie's got a 3-0 count here with me in second. 
off speed stuff, yeah. and he's really good. No need to steal. The pitch. And, a and Betts will take the walk. Probably, probably did that so they could hopefully get a double play. It's been part of his career. Freddie Freeman one for two with a single in the first. Freddie Freeman up to hit. He's behind in the count. They brought in Senzatella. Freeman hits that into the outfield. That gets through. And I score easily. Catcher was nowhere near me. So in right field now, 8-1 to one is the score. And Walker Bueller still on the bump. Only 45 pitches. He is cruising through these Rockies so far. We love to see it from our starter. Hopefully he can keep up that type of performance here and going into the playoffs. That's going to drop. I hit circle instead of square. But it didn't matter. I hit circle instead of square there. You, you'd think that would automatically mess it up. But we're going to lead off the top of the sixth, apparently. Taking on Kyle Freeland now. Senzatella was not in the game for long, that is for sure. Confidence level is raised right here. Bounce nice third. down the line. He it. blocks it. Not in time. But can't recover quick enough, and we get a single. So now all we have to do is get a triple in this game, and we get the cycle. Mookie no Betts coming back up to bat. Going for the steal. He hits a little blooper. They get the out at first, but I advance to second. Freddie Freeman. See if he can drive us in again. That's just going to be a little grounder to second. Two out. But I advance 90 feet. Now we got Showtime, one for two. He's got a single, a ribby, and a run. Come on, Showtime. Get me in, buddy. Cracks that. Little miscommunication. But the second baseman makes the play. Top of the eighth, nobody on, two outs. And it may be a long shot, but a triple here will give him the cycle. We are going to go with some plate discipline. And I strike out. Just in, I think I timed that well. I think I just whiffed on that one. All right, so we do not get the cycle. We get a single, a double, and a home run. We extend our winning streak. Let's move on to game two. All right, so we got a little orange shoe going on here in game two. Looking like we're in in uh, New Mexico during Breaking Bad with this orange shoe going on. And there we go. And I just noticed that we had two on with no outs and a no doubt blast. 61 on the season. The freaking sound of that bat, too, my guy. Absolutely cracked it. Bring in Gavin Lux and Altman. Shohei up behind me. We got to hear that one more time. There you go. There's the sound. 473 in the triple deck there. All right, so sorry about that abrupt cut. Had to get a thumbnail of that for the video. A little blooper for him. That drops in. Throw it to our second baseman. So back up to bat here. Top of the third. Nobody on. Two outs. 
Nice grounder into right. That'll be good for a single. So we are two for two. Home run and a single. Doing a little dance. We got Showtime. He struck out in the first. He's got a pitcher's... Or a batter's count, I guess you'd call it, as he gets a walk. Oh, if I studied the scouting report... I've heard this announcer say the same story like three times already. Oh, that's a good question. That'll be a force out to end the third. Back out in right field here, holding on to our 3 nothing lead. Shohei pitching a gem. Just about to pitch his 40th. Shohei Otani, go back to May 5th, 2022 at Fenway Park. He tossed a complete game through 99 pitches. Get this, 81 nice shot. It was the most strikes we make the catch. Okay, I was wondering if he was pitching a no-hitter, but they've gotten three hits. I guess I don't know why I was wondering that. I literally played off a off a hit, but back up the bat here. Let's watch this again. Skadoosh. Right up to that third deck there for like the three fans. Solid hit. Voice crack. Don't think it's going to go. Warning track power. Back up to bat immediately here. Still got a home run, a single, three rubies. And I strike out. Worked the count back into my favor, getting it to full and strike out. And we will win game two. We lead the series 2 nothing. We're looking to end the season with a sweep and win our 16th game in a row going into the postseason. All right, so the final game of the regular season. Looking to win 16 in a row. Looking to make it 11 games. Getting a hit. We're going to go for this power here. Get that boost. That's not a home run. That's just a little grounder. Over to third. So in the right field now, we managed to get a run across. The Rockies obviously just playing for pride at this point. They were eliminated from playoff contention, I bet, like a month ago, judging how they were 63 games back earlier when we looked. We obviously clinched the the uh, division yeah, right and have fields. the best record in the league. Now a blooper back behind first, and it gets down base hit. Just throw it to the cutoff there. So yeah, Rockies just playing for pride here. We're playing to keep our winning streak alive. And welcome back to the ballpark. Top of the fourth, the leading off here against Herman Marquez. Dodgers, Everett Everett. Scott. Marquez back to work. Nice blast in the right field. So our hitting streak will move to 11 games. Not sure if too many people have been paying attention to it quite yet, Singy, but that extends his hit streak to 11 now. Well, I know he knows. You love it. Just left the knuckle curve hanging there low in the zone. Got good connection on it. Now we got showtime. Got a full count. Nobody wants to mess it up. Yeah, the righty deals. Ground ball right side could be and two. That will and not be a double play. They only go for the first. The first out in the top of the fourth. Well, certainly doing his very best out there. So now we got Mookie Betts. He's all for one with a ground out in the second. Runner at second. Now it's Mookie Betts. The 2 2 now. Betts hits that into right. I'm coming around. We're tying it. There we go. It's a tie ball game. I didn't even notice that they took the lead there. 
Yeah, he's Love been you, Mooks. so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want. Here's Chris Bryant now. So Chris Bryant. I love Chris Bryant. Longtime Cubby. Won a World Series with him in 2016. Feel bad that he signed a long-term contract with the Rockies, but got to reap what you sow, I guess. But he had a two-run bomb for him his last at-bat, so I guess he's not feeling too bad in this game. He'll drop that. Just going to throw it to Mookie there. Chris Bryant held up at one. Hey, whatever works, right? Doesn't have to be impressive. And the Rockies, they get three runs. They're looking to end our winning streak. Nice, solid hit. Don't think it'll carry. And it does, just barely gets over the fence. So we are down by two. 62 homers on the season. I said that would be... The bare minimum homers we finished the season with. But we still got some time to maybe get to 64 as we dunk on Showtime. Keep the momentum going, buddy. Let's get back in this one. And we take the lead 8-5 to five now. As we look back at our home run, just scrape the fence there. Nice line drive out to center, though. You always love ones like that. We got a runner on second with only one out. There we go. Make it a five-run game. Back-to-back -back bombs. We're up 10 to five now. A massive home run. 63rd. 450 on the money. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boo. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. Do what pitch you wanted. Coming up to bat again. Maybe hoping for our third homer. I tried to hold up on my swing there, but I strike out. But that should do it. Bottom of the ninth. They're trying to claw their way back into this one. Only down by uh, three. Chris Bryant. He's got a homer to make it a one-run game here. Gonna move to the left a little bit after what he got on his last at bat that I faced. Is just one strike away. Nope. Drive, Had to move. It gets down. Base hit. Lead runner around second. Can I get him? No. He's safe. Will we get one more play or is that gonna be it? I know it's got the dugout fire. And it's it. So we sweep the Rockies. Finished with 62 homers on the season. And we finished with 16 wins in a row. So we are done on the season. Congratulations, the Dodgers have finished the season at 124-38 and won their division. You will be taking on the winner of the wild card playoff game. You'll love to see it. So we have not lost a baseball game since September 13th. So it looks like over in the AL and the wild card games, you got Tampa Bay and Toronto, Minnesota and Baltimore. Then over in the NL, you got Philly and Arizona, St. Louis and Cincinnati. So the, oh, never mind. For some reason, I thought the Rangers were an NL team. The Rangers are back in the, in the postseason, looking to win back-to-back -back World Series championships. But hopefully we will win it and not them. So we'll go back. We'll look at the, at the, uh, at the uh, players of the month and everything for the NL. So we got Zach Gallon, Trey Turner, Marco Luciano for April. May, we got Spencer Strider, Matt Olson, Luis Angel Acuna. June, that's when we got called up. Walker Buehler, Cattell Marte, we were Rookie of the Month in June. Pitcher, Spencer Strider, we were Flair of the Month and the Rookie of the Month. Shohei, all Dodgers in August. Shohei, your boy. And your boy. So yeah, ever since we got called up in June, we have been the Rookie of the Month or the Player of the Month or both. And it'll be the Diamondbacks. They win two games in a row to sweep the Phillies out of the wild card. So we will be taking on the Arizona Diamondbacks in the NLDS. 
Let's look at the standings. I almost hit the triangle button. Do not do that. So in the first round in the ALDS, it'll be the Tampa Bay Rays taking on the New York Yankees and the Baltimore Orioles taking on the defending World Series champions, the Texas Rangers. Then it'll be the Diamondbacks taking on the Dodgers and the Cardinals taking on the Braves. All right. So finally, guys, that will do it. Records do not matter. Winning streaks do not matter. Hitting streaks do not matter. All that matters now is the postseason and getting those wins. But guys, we will save that for the next video, which hopefully if everything goes according to plan, it will be up Friday morning for you guys. This one hopefully will be up Thursday morning. Just got to get it edited and uploaded and all that jazz. Guys, I'm going to keep the outro brief because you know me, I tend to ramble. If you guys enjoyed and haven't done so already, make sure to hit that like button, comment, subscribe, and yeah, till the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. Till the next episode. I just said that. Take care.